everyone welcome to another youtube video if you're new thank you and welcome if you're not new thank you for coming back please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and notification button and i just wanted to do the last few videos have been vlogs and the next one coming up is a vlog so i just wanted to do kind of a sit down more um serious video and i really felt that doing one right now um about what I wish I knew my younger self knew. And I feel like a lot of us, at least in my personal experience, could use that. So I'm going to tell you some of the top things I wish my younger self had known. And to start off, first, other people do not define your worth. That is, I think, the biggest one. I remember in preschool walking up this big hill or having my mom carry me as she will blatantly point out that she did many of times to preschool and just being worried if what others thought of me like wanting to make sure I was in like the cool like recess group playing the cool games like you know and I just felt like even from that young of age like those things defined me and like that, like what other people thought, even from that young of an age. And that's one thing I wish my younger self knew is that it really doesn't. Um, sorry for the traffic. Like it just doesn't. And another one that I wish my younger self knew is be you. I know that sounds simple. But I was so afraid to be who I truly was, not around like my immediate family. I was, I guess I just always felt like some of the more embarrassing sides of me, I couldn't share because they were too embarrassing and people would judge me for them. So if I liked something that I thought was a bit embarrassing, I would just keep it to myself and that's one thing my sister has definitely taught me love you sis is that you shouldn't be afraid to like what you like and to say it and if other people want to roll their eyes and think it's dumb well that's them they be hating drinking their haterade like if you like a little kid thing and it's whatever you need to be you and if other people maybe don't like the TV shows you're into or the toys you're into, you know, that's okay. Um, another one is grades do not grade you, I guess, in a sense. Like, I know that sounds weird, but like I was so hyper focused a lot, especially in high school with my grades and, and when I went to college, like my grades kind of like they kind of like my grades make or made or break me um I don't know if that's because my brother was so smart and without even trying he got like a 4.0 GPA with the auditorium like I just felt like I had to live up to that and so I pushed myself like my grades were kind of like money in a sense and like her cash it in like oh look at how good I'm doing mm. and like yeah you obviously don't want to just slack off and not care about your grades you obviously want to care about them but not to the point where they debt her they cause harm to your mental health do your best but if your best isn't as good as maybe your siblings or your friends don't get down on yourself don't make it so your mental health struggles just because of your grades like do your best and obviously put effort in but don't let it cause harm another thing is that I wish my younger self knew is reaching out for help is okay. If you're struggling, reach the F out. Like, I had some issues. Um, okay. Trigger warning. Slight trigger warning for some depression stuff and eating disorder stuff coming right now. Um, I struggled with self-harm when I moved. When I was about 12, almost 13. And... I started using eating disorder behaviors like purging and all those things and I didn't reach out I held everything in 
And I think that caused so much damage that now I'm spending my 20s trying to repair. Um, and I feel like if I would have reached out at such a young age, it could have fixed a lot of, it could have prevented a lot of damage. Like, obviously there was damage that needed to be fixed then, but like, it could have made things a lot easier in the long run. But, you know, that's okay. Like, reaching out for help and getting therapy. Getting therapy. Being okay with saying, hey, mom and dad, I need extra help. Like therapy, if you're 12, 13 and you're struggling and middle school's getting stressed, like middle school's more than you bar like thought, it's okay. Therapy is okay. Getting counseling, getting help, it's okay. Like it's not a bad thing to be shameful for. Um, and I really, that's something I wish I would have taken for heart. Another thing is, I wish my younger self really knew is what you have is good enough. You don't have to have the nicest shoes, the coolest backpack, the hippest, you know, t-shirts. You don't have to have all the, you know, newest, trendiest things. Like if maybe your family can't afford it or maybe, you know, it's just stuff like that. It's okay. Like you don't, or maybe your parents just don't want to spend the money on it. And obviously as a 10 year old, you can't really change that. You know, like my parents didn't want to spend the money on American Girl dolls. And for me, a lot of my friends had American Girl dolls and I was like, but you know what? That's okay. Like you don't have to have the hippiest and trendiest things. What you have is okay. Like if you, if your friend maybe had like a nice, cool, really expensive pair of tennis shoes and you just have these target ton of shoes like that's okay you are you and what you have is fine and I really because I feel like society puts a lot of pressure on the younger generation I feel like just just I f it breaks my heart how much in reality kids in even elementary school are struggling with self-esteem, self-love, body image, and just issues like that because of just what our society, the pressure our society is putting on them and the standards and all those things. So those are just a few things I wish my younger self knew. Um, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.